Hey guys, Mike Fulsame here. I'm gonna show you something that I did with AI that you can do that doubled the sales on our webinar replay. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna take a look at my screen and walk you through it. Okay, so the first thing I have here for you is a screenshot of a conversation I had with Donna Fox. She's our partner in Groove and CMO of the company. And I was letting her know that in my webinar control course, I explained that when people are at a webinar page, they don't like to see that they can't pause the video, they can't scrub it backwards, they can't scrub it forward, they don't know how long the video is. But most webinars are about 60 to 90 minutes and then another hour Q&A. We had a webinar that was three hours and 40 minutes. People were seeing the page with three hours and 40 minutes and literally posting on Facebook and saying, I don't have time to watch a three hour and 40 minute video. So I wanted to get some table of contents or timestamps underneath the video, something that looks like this. So it tells you what's happening inside of the video. And I said to her, hey, I've always trained and, and subscribed to the thought that you cannot have too many timestamps. It's like a good table of contents of a book. And with good copy that uses hooks and curiosity, it helps even more. As I see it as, okay, this is a 3.5 hour video, but if we can get like 85 table of contents, the person just keeps seeing and saying, well, I wanna know that secret, I wanna know that secret, and so on and so on. So for me, standard operating procedure is you can never have too many Donna had somebody on our team do it, and it takes time because they got to go three hours and 40 minutes. And to be quite frank, this person is trying to just get work done. They're not a copywriter. So what this person on our team did is they sat through a three hour and 40 minute webinar, and they went through this stuff. And then we put it onto the webinar registration page, and it did lift the conversions a little bit. But take a look at this last thing that I said here to Donna. I said to her, I'm going to take what you gave me here, and I'm going to put it into ChatGPT, and say, keep this the same, but rewrite the hooks and curiosity and self-sorting to make the viewer want to see that part of the video. All right, so what I'm going to show you next is going to blow you away, and it's a standard operating procedure that you should put in every single one of your webinar replays. So the first thing you do is you have somebody go through and just create an outline of the key points. Don't even worry about the copy being good. Then you upload your video to YouTube, just like I did right here. The next thing is you go and you get something called GLASP. All right, Chrome extension, right? You download this Chrome extension for YouTube. Basically what it does, it is auto summarizes a YouTube video and transcribes it for you. So here you see the plugin is working right here for me. Let's take off the social blade, but you see right here, it says transcript and summary. So I'm simply gonna click down here and I'm gonna get the entire transcript of this webinar. Did you see how fast it did that? It literally transcribed a three hour and 36 minute webinar, seconds using AI. So now what I do is I click this integration that they now do with ChatGPT and watch what happens. It's going to open this up into ChatGPT. It's going to place everything in there, say video summary, and then it summarizes the entire video. Now I'm going to click stop generating because I already did this. And I'm going to take you over to that particular one that I did and watch what I did here. Okay, so here is the one that I did yesterday. So you can see I uploaded the video yesterday and Here's a transcription. We'll go all the way down to the bottom. Here's what's interesting. Here's what I said to it. I said, I will give you a table of contents that are timestamps of this video transcript above. I want you to keep each timestamp the same, but I want you to rewrite each line of text. You can make them longer if you need to, but I want you to focus on strong sales copy that gets the user to want to see that part of the video for their own benefits. Use hooks, curiosity, and self-sorting if it applies to any timestamp text. Remember, you need to write these based on the transcript, not your general knowledge. See, prompting is very important. The goal is to make them want to watch the whole video and not be scared that it's too long. Does this make sense? If so, ask me for the table of contents. It said, yes, that makes sense. Provide me with the table of contents. And as you can see, I pasted in exactly what was given to me by my team. Some of this stuff was not even copy written at all. But now AI knows through the three hour and 40 minute video that it just transcribed that it can match up these talking points and it rewrote this for me just like this. Mike Filsame demonstrates how AI can clone his voice with the script and 11 labs revealing how this powerful technology can create engaging and personalized intros. It wrote all of this copy. Look at 1218 here compared to the, where it was here before. 1218, the singularity and the advent of technology. 
here using curiosity to get you to want to see the video. Join us as we explore the singularity and the advent of technology and how AI is set to change the way we do business in the future. So all of this copy was then written for me so that at just like in 30 seconds, and then I was able to give this to my team and put it right underneath the video, and this is what it looks like. All right, we're on the page that I'm gonna ask you to go check out, but as you can see here, take a look. Putting these timestamps that says, these were written by AI, underneath a video that's three hours and 33 minutes. Now you gotta remember, there are some people that showed up to the webinar a little late, and they wanted to see what they missed. There are some people that showed up on time, but they have to leave an hour and 40 minutes in, and they just wanna pick up at the one hour and 40 minute mark. And there are some people that may have seen part of it, but they just want to go back to the offer part and see what they can get. What most marketers do is they don't allow you to see how long a webinar is because it increases conversion. Let's face it, we all hate that. If you want to increase your conversions, what you do is you put video timestamps, table of contents, the way that I just showed you, and you're going to double the conversion rates on your next webinar. We split test these results with the boring timestamps and the quality timestamps like this, and Literally in that day, people came to this page because otherwise they saw three hours and they just bounced. And now they're saying, okay, I really want to see all of this stuff. This gets me interested. It's like long form sales copy that the people can actually see what's going on and get excited. All right, but it doesn't stop there, okay? So the next thing that I needed to do is I needed to write an email talking about this, but I had to get this stuff out and you know how like you write an email and you're just doing like a free flow of consciousness and you're getting your thoughts out and you put it down and you're like, oh man, this needs to be put in some kind of order. I need to wordsmith this a little bit. And then you spend another hour on it and you send it to somebody and they go, you're kind of jumping all over the place here. Well, let me show you exactly what it looks like when I'm jumping all over the place and what AI did to rewrite an email that you actually got yesterday and clicked on, and this is the actual email. So I'm gonna show you how I use AI to write this. So the first thing that I did is I simply went into my Groove.ai project where I primed it with all of the information about the company. And so what I did here is I simply said, okay, for this is for an email. I need you to help me write this better. I wanna tell a story about this. And then I put in brackets here, story starts here. Because I even wanna to talk to this, tell the story about how I used ChatGPT before to give prompts and I wanted it, I didn't want it to get confused about what was a prompt in the story and what was a prompt that I want it to actually do right now. So it knows that anything in these brackets here to here is simply the story. So what I did is I said, I just started going from anywhere. I created a table of content, time steps for a video I'm using to sell Groove.ai. These timestamps are about key points in the video. This next part is what I'm most excited about. It's like magic. Here's what I did. I generated the timestamps and I basically told it what I just showed you. Take a look at what I said here. To be honest, the timestamps were not written well and a bit boring for sales copy, but maybe good to use in a description of a YouTube video. But I really need this to go underneath my webinar replay. The purpose of this is having the table of content timestamps underneath my webinar replay video was to tease visitors about the awesome content. So I did an experiment and the results literally blew me away. And I'm basically talking about what I just showed you. I used the Chrome extension, this is a three hour plus webinar, and I took all of this information. And then I said, after that, I used this top secret prompt. And I told it, note, this next paragraph in brackets is not a prompt for you, it's just a literal text command I gave to ChatGPT. So I told it, and I didn't want it to get confused, so now it knows it's not a prompt. ChatGPT then replied, yes, this makes sense, you saw this from there. I pretty much told the story of the case study. And I said, story ends here. Now, this is basically how it wrote the email for me. I said, okay, back to what I need from you. What I need from you is an excellent email to my subscribers about this. I want you to rewrite this whole story with a goal in mind to get them to click the link in the email to see the table of content timestamps results in person and to watch the replay. Both of those things I wanted and to learn more about AI. I also need a strong close to the email with a strong call to action CTA to watch the replay of the webinar. Also write and use urgency about learn more about becoming a backer for our limited lifetime offer that expires Sunday at midnight. And in the PS, talk about how all the marketing, including this email they're reading was used with AI. Then right here, a little dash, here's the command. Write the email with an exciting tone that is just blown away by the power of AI. Like the writer feels like a kid in a candy shop. Make it fun, witty, conversational. This is going to my Groove members I refer to as Groovesters. This email is from me, Mike Filsame. Okay, now believe it or not, 
I think I got a little too carried away with the prompt. You're going to see, I don't really like the way it came out. Hey, Groofsters, I'm feeling ecstatic. I want to share with you the reason today I created, and it just kind of like jumped in. And essentially what it did is it recapped pretty much using my words because I gave it so much copy, it barely rewrote it. It's not very, very good. So I took a pause and I said, okay, wait a second. Rewrite that much better. Make it twice longer. Be more specific. Use my story as a guide, but use your own words. Write the best email you can that will get them to click the link and want to see the replay and results. Use a style that you think will work best. Use direct response marketing and urgency. And look at this. Subject line, the secret to amazing sales copy using AI. Hey, Groofsters, I'm excited to share with you and that wrote this beautiful, 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 beautiful email right down to exactly what I needed. So take a look at this. I copied all this. I put it into a Google Doc, took the subject line. I added a preview for the email that you got yesterday. And this is the email that went out yesterday. And if you want to see what it looked like in your inbox, just search holy cow. And here's the actual email. It was just written 100% for me by AI. And here's the interesting thing. This campaign that I'm building right now, I am literally right here saying, I'm going to record a video showing this case study in the email. I'm going to use the landing page. What headline can I use? So it's giving me headlines and pre-headlines that you're actually going to see right in here in the case study page or on the page that you're on. You're seeing these were written by AI. So right now, the very next thing that I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use AI to write the email that you just read that got you here today. Okay, so here we are. I just gave it instructions. Here are my instructions that I wrote. Write me an email to promote this case study. Also provide three subject lines and three preview text snippets above the body of the email. The goals are to get them to open the email, read the email, click the call to action link in the email. It will not be a success if all three do not happen. Use Direct response marketing, excitement, and urgency. Make sure to stress how we doubled conversions with this case study and that it's a must-see. So one of these emails here is the one that made you open the email. Here are the text snippets that you saw, and then here's the email. Dear Groosters, I'm beyond excited to share our latest case study for you, and I'll probably get a screenshot of this video and put it in there, and this is the email that got you here. So. The fact that you're watching this video right now shows that AI works. So the very next thing that you need to do now to see more is underneath the video that you're watching right now is a page that looks like this because you see I'm building it. It says, see those timestamps live, download our backer mind map, click right here to learn more about how you can use AI in your business and what we're doing with Groove.ai. All right, so what are you still doing here? Click that button right underneath this video and stay tuned for more emails and more case studies about AI. We'll see you soon.